Hi, hi, and welcome to my channel. This is my weekly basket, and I'm really excited to share always my weekly basket with you guys. These are the makeup products I'll be using this week, so let's get started. Uh, if you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Weekly baskets are where I shop through my collection and I pick up makeup products from within my collection and just try to use them. This week I focused on some new items that I've hauled and not used and then actually even looked back at some of the products that I own and have not actually given enough love. So let's get started. I must warn you I'm not well and um, I actually was even in the hospital last night. The videos are not coming because I've been sick for like over a week going into two weeks and um, I'm just trying to keep myself together. I am on sick leave but it's really hard for me to actually come in front of the camera but I will definitely try to get videos out to you guys. I'm hoping I can at least do a couple videos this evening so that I can get out videos this week to you guys. So let's see what I'll be using this week. Okay, so like I said, I'm not well and I know my, I may not actually get to use everything but I will try to do some videos for you guys and when I do that, I think I'll try and use up these products. So I had this before and did not use it in a weekly basket. It's a Ciro, I think it's Mac Nara Miracle Skin Transformer SPF 20. So this skin wig as a primer, um, a moisturizer, and it also works, I think, like a BB cream, but it does not give me much coverage, so I use it as a primer. And I have here Tarte Recreate Silicone Free Primer with Wrinkle Rewind Technology. Got this in a sample kit, and um, I've used this before, it's okay. For foundations, I have my BH Cosmetics foundation and this foundation in particular, it's in my Finish 6 by Christmas. I have not been given it love. I am wearing it today, but I've not been given it love. I've been using mainly my Revlon photo already, so because of that, I'm putting that in a bag and I'm trying to use it this week. And I also pulled out a new foundation. This is the Laura Breakthrough Performance Foundation, oil-free anti-aging foundation with SMS, which I don't know what that is, um, complex, has SPF 14 in it. So that's a foundation for satin powder. I have one and this is the City Girl, no, I actually have two. This is City Girl Flawless Finish Mineral Powder and this is medium. I recently hauled that from City Color. Then I have a sample of the Bare Minerals Original um, Foundation in medium beige and this is just a sample. I thought I would try and see if I can just use up because I have a lot of those kind of sample powders. I also have my Wet n Wild Figgy Take on a date. This is my finish. I think this is in Project Pan and I still have some work. I generally use it to set my under eye concealer so that's why it's not. If I use this on my face I may get like less than a week use but I really want to just I like it for my under eye so I leave it there. Contour this clean color um, pressed powder. This is one of the darker colors. I've made considerable dent here so I'm very pleased this was only one US dollar from Miss Shop Miss A. So um, I really don't feel bad. I said at the end of this month I'll be trashing it so this has more like 10 days more to go but I'm really happy with how um, well I've, how much use I've gotten out of it. The other thing problem I have with it is that it's starting to get a little little chalky so it's not totally working. The other bronzer that I have here is um, uh, bombshell bronze in diva from BH cosmetics and I use this a couple times I thought I'll just pull it out and just use it this week and give it some more love for blush I have this sample that I got from Sephora it's makeup forever HD blush and this one is in 410 I don't think they have names and it says a second skin cream blush actually did use it today under my blush and I thought I will try and just use up this sample kind of little iffy with it and on top of it I, I put coral sandy beach which is in my finished 6 by Christmas this blush is like going nowhere and I've been using it at least four times a week once um because it's in my weekly basket every weekly basket and have not even hit pan on this thing. It's kind of worrying me that we're almost at the end of October, no pan or anything. So I guess that might be a failed product. In addition, I have my Milani Bake Blush in um, Fantastico Morph, which is really a nice, gorgeous fall blush. So I thought I'll just put that in there. 
and concealer I have um, actually I thought I had more concealer so yes I have this instant age rewind double perfecter concealer and highlight concealer has is almost finished but I was killing other concealers so that's why I did not get to finish that so that is there for this week and I also have this in my project pan and or is it finished six by Christmas one of those things where I have to finish my products for Santi and it's this color and like I said I've hit pan but I keep swirling it now around the sides so I love that and for highlighting I have the City Color Intense Exposure Highlighting Powder which I absolutely love and I am wearing it today it is very nice and gorgeous all right so for eyes I have um, primer and base my Laura behind the scenes eye primer and I have to do an update to my project pan and my finish six by Christmas I hopefully can get it done this week um, in addition I have my Giordana me to last 12 hour me to last shadow pencil and continuous armor um, this is also in a project pan hopefully i can finish it sometime soon and um eyeshadows i have my panda palette which is going strong and i am seeing a considerable dent in my the cream kind of transition color that i use i've also been using this as highlighter which kind of double it up to finish it i just want to see some more pan and then i maybe go back to another color for highlighters I have three pigments here. This is taupe, sorrel, and culture from Halloran's Tick Taupe has maybe I use it like in my inner tear duct. Today, um, I do think it has I, I have very little more of that. Um, culture I'm really going good with. I am more or less now scraping from color from the packet and sorrel is just one of those Christmas colours that are fall colours that I love and I just put out through it in. In addition to that I pulled out my nude or nude from NYX that I have not given it love to. All the lip colours I have not used at all. Don't even know if I'll use it but some of the eyeshadows they're all neutral. Thought I would have put in something with a pop of colour but I didn't um, and I don't want to go back on that but I'll try and use up some of these colours and see how much love I can give it. For eyeliner, I'm just going to stick to one. I actually want to really, I'm thinking I keep adding a lot of stuff to my weekly basket. Um, I'm not getting to use our products, but I really want to kind of stick. I forgot to have this base also from MAC. It's in red velvet. I've had this long time, a long, long time shade stick. I don't even think they make these anymore. In addition to that, I pulled out this Wow and Wow from Clean Color. I have not given this thing really any love. It has an eyeliner part it and this is also bronze from LA Girl Gel Light On Pencil. I need, I really want to finish this. It's getting short. Um, in addition to that, for smoky eyes, I pulled out the smoky lines from Avon Smoking Charcoal. Just thought I'll use it. For liquid liners, I have two my Elf. This is not going to finish. I think I have maybe till the end of October, maybe first week in November, but I think in October. I also pull out Mirabella Permanent Eyeliner. I think this thing is drying up on me, so want to use it and I have my taupe brow pencil and I don't I will not be using my elf I'll just be sticking to this my wet gloss is not here but I'll be using that mascara primer the one from Revlon Lash Fantasy don't think this is going to go past October so I have like this week and next week and mascara Maybelline pumped up colossal and I forgot to also put my Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara um, here. That's actually what I took with me on my vacation and I forgot to put it in this basket. So that's it for eyes. For lips, I have this NYX Black Label Lipstick in Bling. It's a nude lipstick. Then I also have these two. I recently hauled these from uh, Wonderful World. Cream Lipstick in Passion. And this one is in Promise. And I also have two lip liners, one that's in my um, project pan. This is Clean Color Nude Lip Liner. And I have this pink one here from Clean Color. It's also, and it's in rose. This is an auto liner. And I, let me just put a little swatch for you guys to see it because it's not something I've had. I am wearing it today though. In addition to my lip products that's in my project pan, I didn't pull all of them out because I have them like in, in makeup baskets. I don't make a bath makeup bags that I try to use on a regular basis. I have these matte lipsticks from City Color. Everyone raves about these B matte lipsticks. I hold seven of them for you guys. 
and I recently got one in my September Ipsy bag which I plan to do a video on because I think the bag was actually really great so that makes it in total I don't have that one here with me right now um, but it is going to be part of this week's basket I have pink or pink Jenny which is a red Queenie which is um, like a fuchsia color this one is Nisi, which is a hot pink. Melon, which I am wearing. It's like a nudie coral kind of color. Um, Denise, which is like a plummy rose color. And then Latte, which is a nude. And the one I got in my Ipsy bag is Cappuccino, which is also a nude. So, plan to do a review on these for you guys um, with swatches. I also um, did a video, and I will edit it for you guys where I did um, swatches of one of the uh, some other lipsticks that I had got from City Colors to so look out for those this week I just didn't have time to edit a couple of the videos I did last week for upload so you're gonna see those hopefully this week but that's it for this weekly basket hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching bye